Hi everybody, I'm Will and welcome back to Venture to Rome. Today we're doing an install on my rig and my best buddy Chris's rig. We're doing this, the Midland MXT 275. All right, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a GMRS fan, at least I haven't been. I have been an old school CB diehard kind of guy, but the truth is, Whenever we go out, there's always somebody, myself sometimes included, that has an issue with their CB. We can hear some people, can't hear another. We'll be in a convoy and we'll be relaying messages from the front back to the back because the person in the back isn't getting a signal. The great thing about the MXT275 is that I can mount this someplace out of the way that's not really seen because all the controls are on the microphone. All the channel controls and everything are right here. So my plan is to install this uh, someplace that's discreet and then when I'm using it I will plug this in and this will be the radio um, when I'm not using it I will unplug this put it in a bag and put it under my seat that's my plan we'll see how it goes Chris has got a different plan so we'll it'll be interesting to see how he installs his and I install mine let's get started The MXT275 comes with a main head unit, the mic with the controls on it, a 12 volt cord, an antenna, and a mounting bracket. You might also need a third party antenna and coax cable, a mounting bracket for the antenna, and we used Velcro tape. So I'm gonna be using the existing CB coax cable, and what I'm gonna do is mount this to my um, tire carrier. It's got a spot to mount these, so I'm gonna, I fabbed up this bracket. I know it looks a little janky, but it'll work. So I have this mini built Pivot HD and it's kind of a knockoff of the Terraflex. One of the cool things about this is it's got these two little rubber plugs. And so basically it'll go right here. And the reason is that the CB coax is over there. I'm just gonna unhook it from here, leave the, the mount and the actual CB stud there and just basically move the cord from there to there. This was really easy. All we had to do was remove the spare tire, then attach the new mount, put the adapter on, then take the existing coax cable, disconnect it from where it was, run it across the Jeep, and connect it to the new adapter. We've been kind of strategizing on where we're gonna install the head unit. What we realized is the head unit has a speaker on it, and we've never actually plugged this in and listened to it. Like, does the sound come out of the microphone piece? Does it come out of the head unit? So what we're gonna do now is just, uh, we're just gonna hook them up and talk to each other and see like where the sound comes from. So when we install it in the Jeep, we're not doing something that's making it harder to hear things uh, inadvertently. Check, uh, check, 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 one, two. Can you hear me loud and clear? Oh, it's just like you're sitting right next to me. What? It's like you're sitting right next to me. Okay, a little, little louder, please. It's like you're sitting right next to me. Oh yeah, now I can hear him. Yeah, 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 it's great. This is the coax for my CB antenna. So I think what I can do is probably just run this up here. I'm gonna hook this to the back of the head unit right here. So you've got the CB antenna plugged in, you've got yes. now power plugged in, and you're just thinking of placing that head unit right in that little, yeah. uh, what would you call that? Like a little cubby area, basically, a little cargo net cubby area. Yeah, for the time being. So we've installed Chris's radio unit, and now we're gonna work on mine. So I'm doing mine a little bit different. I'm gonna install my, my antenna on the hood in the front, and hopefully this won't be too difficult, but we'll get it done here in just a second. My original plan was to remove the, a section just under the A-pillar and drill a hole through the foam so I could run the coax cable through that hole into the main cabin. However, we quickly learned that that hole was way too small for the coax cable, so we had to regroup and try again. On all my other installs, I try to just use pre-existing grommets and things, and on this one we're, we're punching a new hole, but it's in a place where there's supposed to be a hole, where there could be a hole. It's right next to the brake booster. We're gonna run a, a coat hanger through that. We're gonna tape it up on this and uh, pull it through and hope that we can get this into the cab uh, easily. The coat hanger came right through the hole. It was very easy to use electrical tape to tape the coax cable to the coat hanger and pull it back through. And everything went very smoothly with one exception. After a few swear words, we moved on to attaching the antenna. The antenna mount fits right onto the hood and it just has two screws that attach to it. It fit perfectly and we moved on to the next thing. Okay, so 
we have run the coaxial cable through the engine bay into the interior. I think until I'm totally committed to where I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put some, some Velcro tape on this. I can kind of test out a few different areas in the Jeep until I want to commit to drilling a hole. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do right now. There's really nothing much to this part of the install other than cord management. So we got the cords where they needed to go. We used Velcro tape to attach the head unit to the side of the center console. Plugged everything in. It looked great and worked perfectly. Done and done. Okay, so we got both of the units installed on two different rigs. It looks pretty clean. Again, we're just testing these installs. So we didn't mount anything in a permanent way. We're going to use these. Uh, radios and see how they work, see how we like where they are. And then, and then once we have used them for a while, I think we'll figure out where we want them to be permanently. And then we might do a permanent install. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you wanna see more from us, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see more from us right now, click on the video that's on the screen. And until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. What most Americans call gear, but overlanders call kit. Uh, please, please never use that word on this radio again. Overlander? <laughs> Gear. <laughs>